I'm supposed to already be on my way to London. And I'm still at home in bed. Yay for CF. <laughs> I woke up coughing at like 4am and then I went to sleep till 8, tired, knackered in fact, felt like I'd already climbed a mountain by 5am, but I'm trying, so we'll see how it goes. Happy Sunday. Two hours later. As you can see. Still at home. I am still in bed. I've had a bath, a shower. I've had medication, clean prep, which is bowel prep to help empty me out. In hopes that will help my tummy pain. I've tried to be fairly active so that I don't just like fester and then my chest get tighter. But I feel like absolute dirt. So I'm annoyed that our weekend away has been ruined by CF. But shit happens. So hopefully... We'll be able to do something in London, but fingers crossed, I will manage to do something. The next day. My hair is wild. Hopefully you can actually hear me. So we have been on the road for a couple hours now, a few hours. We've got two and a bit hours to go until we are where we need to be today. So we've just stopped at a Starbucks because I'm going to do some meds. Um, just painkillers for now. Um, and then have a coffee, a cheese and marmite ciabatta, and then head off again. later we have made it to wagamama's we haven't had wagamama's in ages and it's not usually the type of thing we choose when traveling because we like to choose things that we can't get where we live um but we were just passing one so thought we'd give it a go and then we're seeing a friend so after we've seen our friend we will be heading to our hotel in chelsea in london all red face now because we've just eaten wagamama's and I usually get a red rash all over my face when my sugars start to go higher and then yeah so didn't take any video or pictures of my wagamamas because I'm such a pig when it does come to eating because I don't eat very often I'm like yep yeah, scranning that straight away but it was amazing we had the new Saku Saku crispy duck so that was good and now we are on the way to see a friend and then we'll be off to London so I didn't end up doing much video wise in the hotel because we were so tired um, but we did have something good to eat. I did a quick TikTok live to say hi to everyone and now it's the next day and it's appointment day at Brompton. They've actually called me this morning to say there's strikes and they need to confirm that I'm attending. They left me no contact details to actually get back to them so I'm a bit worried about that. Um, but we're gonna, we're in Chelsea now. We stayed at Stamford Bridge football grounds, which was interesting because I didn't realise I did that, but that was pretty cool. So we're leaving in a sec to go get something to eat in Chelsea, um, a bougie breakfast or lunch. Yeah, I will update you as the day goes on. Room at the Brompton for my 
face-to-face -face appointment with the cystic fibrosis consultant. It's really weird to actually have a clinic room that says cystic fibrosis because where I am, the clinic room is, it's just general respiratory for the whole hospital. Like it's just respiratory, any kind. So yeah, I feel represented here. Um, but yeah, we've had some nice food. Uh, I chose some great places to eat, so I'm happy about that. Um, and I'll probably put some videos of them before or after this clip. I don't know when I've put them. Um, yeah, I will do a discussion on how the appointment went once it's done. So I've been absolutely shit at keeping these videos up to date with what I've been doing throughout the day. However, we are now on the way home from London. Uh, appointment is done. Lots of things said, suggested, things have changed. Um, lots of contradictions. Um, <clears throat> but overall, a positive appointment. Um, so I will probably make a video discussing the entirety of the appointment. Because if I tried to fit it in this video, it would be no good. I, this video would be far too long. The next day. I was just going to leave the last video at the bit where I say that we've, we're in the car on the way home, etc. But I thought I will update slightly in this video what happened at the hospital appointment. So, treatment changes happening as advised by the Brompton. Longer hospital admissions with a anti oral antibiotic upon discharge, which should then help inflammation straight away rather than halfway through the month after discharge starting all again. I'm looking at to see how bad my reflux is and whether that's causing the infections to not go away. So then I have the fundoblication, I don't know the word, surgery. Um, so we're going to look into that. Um, swapping a few antibiotics for others, um, taking me off stuff, putting me on other stuff. It was very eye-opening. There was a lot to be said for getting a second opinion and I highly urge anyone who feels like their care isn't up to standard you are entitled to a second opinion there is no reason for a doctor to refuse that um, I definitely for cystic fibrosis patients recommend the Brompton I know I have been recommended a few others but definitely if you just need a complete overhaul I think it's worth going there um, and that's what they've done to me they've just overhauled everything there's no like massive changes. Uh, we still don't think transplant is going to be an option because of my gastro issues, but I already knew that. So we just need to keep pushing me as far as we can really. Um, and because I don't take Caftrio because of the side effects, which I was massively validated on. And that felt amazing to be completely validated on my feelings on Caftrio. So that was a massive win for me on that appointment. Um, but yeah, I'm currently waiting for my oxygen concentrator and then I have some errands to run and I should be having a hospital admission tomorrow. I was supposed to go in today, but there are no beds. So um, we're hoping to go in tomorrow, have a tune up, um, three weeks and then start doxycycline and see how that all goes. Um, but I will probably do videos in hospital. I'm gonna try and show life of what I do in hospital on YouTube too. But yeah, thank you for watching. It's only a short video. It's my first one in nearly two years, so bear with me. But yeah, I hope everyone has a lovely week ahead and I hope you enjoyed the video.